understanding of that high level play, and it's going to be good when we start sending players out to face off against some of the best. Especially with Evo just right around the corner. Yep, now in losers finals, Trevante faces off against Ido again. This time, will he 2 0 him like he did last time? The question is does he have four more setups that he prepared this week? Yeah. Let's see how it pans out. Trevante has been extremely creative. But, uh, I'm pretty surprised, actually, that they, they struck to this stage. Yeah, this time, like, this was uh, Ido's counterpick to Trevante last set that yep. they played. Um, but I kind of I kind of get it, right, because Smashville does have smaller, especially smaller side blast zones. Yep. Uh, and that will actually help Trevante, like, close out a kill with that, like, with the back throw forward air right, they right. landed. And I think what Ido is trying to exploit here is because the boundaries of Battlefield are so huge, yeah. he's going to live for so long unless Trevante can get a really, really hard read. And meanwhile, as Meta Knight, you know, eventually that up throw is going to kill. He's just going to be able to comfortably shield grab or, you know, catch Trevante when he's not ready and close out the stock. Oh, good dash attack right there. Ido just goes for the straight up B, taking the damage. Not giving Trevante the opportunity to SDI out of out any up airs, but he gets that pivot grab. Misses the timing. Ooh, misses the up B too, uncharacteristic. Yeah. Trevante has the floor right now. Good fade away Nair. Gets some needles, no tech. Catches the uh, get up backwards. Okay, goes for the bouncing fish. We'll get back the stage air spike. Off the stage. I think Ido's still going to be able to recover. Back. Yep. Still making it back. Back air off of that platform. Trevante does have the percent lead right now. He still needs a little bit more percent if he's going to be able to kill with the smash attack. But bouncing fish almost doing the job. Vanish is a very smart option there because uh, Meta Knight has so many hitboxes on his recovery, uh, recovery options. Late up smash. Could have been a kill there. Yeah, that, that Vanish pick, especially I, if he had lined up his Vanish maybe a little bit better, like he could have potentially killed Ido on his way back to the stage, too. Definitely. Let's jump back here. Something he has not done in maybe even the whole tournament. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's just, it feels like Trevante just has this huge bag of tricks that he's just adding a few more setups every single week. Yeah. And one thing that uh, Zex has said often is that you shouldn't be using your kill setups until they're actually going to kill. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are like, oh, check out this trick that I did. And then the person's aware of it from there on out. But Trevante really keeps it from match to match. Oh, okay, yeah, he's still fine. Yep. Right now, Ido not not in the best position. And this is the one reason why I do kind of question the Battlefield pick, is I feel like Sheik gets so much mobility out of those platforms. Yeah. Uh, I feel like her ability to control platforms is a lot scarier than Meta Knight's, even though if Meta Knight converts on a platform, yeah. you're going to die sooner regularly. Oh, my lord. But he doesn't get that same mobility boost. Do you see this lead right now? Yeah, no, almost lapping Ido. Ido again got really hungry, went for an up smash. Trevante punished with the up smash on the platform, takes the stock 100% on Ido though. This could be a very easy stock to take out for Trevante. She can rack up another 100% and go for a tilt if she wants to, or just keep up that pressure, especially with the mix-ups that have been going down. A lot of the get-up options that uh, Ido has been choosing have been getting punished really hard. Power shield to power shield. Players are starting to learn the neutral really well in this game. Good shield grab right there. Goes for the up B. Misses Tremonte. the second hit again. Yeah. Tremonte doesn't get the back air either. Tries to go for a rising fair. Smart move there. Good kill option from, from the ledge. Ido gets that free grab. Yeah. Uh, notices, uh, reads, I guess, the tomahawk attempt there. Just throws out the grab early. Yeah. Now, uh, Ido has been throwing out moves on the ledge before Trevante's been taking an action. That up B Almost. probably would have connected if Ido didn't have so much rage. Yeah, actually. It looked like he was at the perfect uh, spacing. There's the reverse. Trevante misses the punish. Goes for a down smash. Back throw, and this is a tough situation. Bouncing fish. Oh, what oh. somehow does not even cause a stage knockback? Good grab. Trevante just wants to keep hitboxes out, so Ido has to recover. 
changes it up again. He went for the rollback last time. This time he went for drop off and jump up. Smart to just get up so he could shield immediately because Ida was definitely looking for the opportunity for that up smash. Trigonte almost oh, dying that to that. Down up. air is so risky. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, that time Trevante waited for the air dodge because he had done back it, uh, back throw forward air. And there it is. There he finds the forward air. There it is. Ido had opted for doing the jump option and coming out with an attack. Trevante waited for it, reacted with that forward air. This is just crazy, man. Oh my god, this is so. And you know we have another set after this because the oh winner yeah. of this fight's shaky. Oh yeah. Like this, this isn't like. It feels as intense and like mentally like draining as a best of five, and it's the best of three. The hardest part here is that this is one of those trifecta of people who beat each other. Trayvante has beat Idol before. Do it again. Trayvante uh, has lost to Idol before. Mm -hmm. Idol has lost to Shaky. Shaky and Idol though haven't played more than one set, if I remember correctly. They played. They played two sets at a foundry like uh, a couple months ago when Ido first got back. Uh, Shaky won them both. Shaky, yeah, no, they played three because Ido reset. But yeah, Shaky won two. Okay. Um, and then past that, I believe, I think Ido also has another win on Shaky at some other tournament. I can't remember what. Quite possibly. Shaky doesn't come out too much, so it's always hard to track. Uh doing at the time, but percent right now is in Trevante's favor. He is using these platforms. He Where just edge canceled the needles. He's he's working on his deck. Oh he's my to come god. Together. Trevante looks like he's DIing in on these up Bs as well so that he can get back to the ground and punish MK for using up B, which is something we don't see often. Oh, what a catches the air dodge with the finish and just barely not killing. That's really unfortunate because he can't do that again. That's one of those the things that uh, Battlefield is a big problem. There. Yeah. Um, he does well on this stage, but the blast zones are not in his favor. Still just focusing on keeping the stage control with these little pecs. Stage spike with the needles. Oh, nice snare to cover the two. Trevante makes it back, waits patiently. That up air. See how many tricks. How many and, tricks? And what's so unfortunate is like all these tricks are not killing Ido. He has to keep in, keep bringing out more new stuff. This is just crazy. Ido's playing fantastic. I, I don't want to take any of that away from what he's doing right now. But Trevante is doing some things I have never seen people do to counter a lot of what Meta Knight does in order to shut you down. Oh. Two frame. No, actually, yeah. I, don't, I don't even think he was actually going to reach the ledge perfectly. Yeah, it, it looked like he would have like had to like reach it afterwards, but yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't a two-frame. Pretty sure that wasn't two-frame. So heavy right now. A few more percent and a tilt will kill. Nice double jab. Tries to catch the back roll, gets the other roll instead. Back roll has, is so traditional in the Meta Knight playstyle that we've seen from DSS and Ido that Trevante just knew it was coming mm -hmm. and immediately went for that grab. And it was one of those things where, like, he knows that Ido knows that after double jab, uh, she can do a potentially a bunch of things and know that she's trying to escape right after the double jab. Yeah. Ido responds, but they power shield for power shield all over again. Free bouncing fish there, just that early percent stuff. Waiting patiently at the top, catching that roll with an F tilt. I don't know when he can air dodge out of air dodge or spot dodge out of sheet combos. He's been going for it. Trevante forced to get back onto the stage, went in with a fair. Empty hop grab might have been a good option, but back rolls has landing. Away from the nair, I feel like he could have actually punished that one. Good fair right there, catching up in percent, but Ido has the lead right now, and this is a really good stage for him since he can go off the top where he doesn't have to worry about the sides nearly as much as Sheik usually does. Only hope for Trayvonse off the top is going to be a really, really lucky up air or an up smash on one of these lower platforms. Right. Yeah, B. Yep, catches him right with the dash attack. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, because I have to drive home after this. Like, I'm just going to be so exhausted. This, <laughs> this is dangerous to my health, to my well-being. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. This is this is a dangerous match right now. Because I, both of these guys have to go face off against someone who I don't know how confident they are to go fight against. 
Trevante, I could see being confident because he plays the guy a lot. Yeah. But it's looking like it's it's a Shiggy's playing better day, you know? So that might not breed enough confidence there. Okay, does up air quick enough there? Uh, so it didn't end up uh, interfering with the tornado. Nice fares. Shut down that run. Meta Knight's all about the mobility. He's going to be running around, rolling around, then coming in with that uh, dash attack, dash grab. Oh, he tries to catch Ido's landing. Still manages to do it. Looks like it's such a struggle for Ido to get down against Trevante's pressure right now. It is all in Trevante's corner. He just needs to be able to take the stock. Good damage. Went for the Rising Nair, thinking that Ido would be a little bit lower. Ido didn't have the opportunity to go for a good up B there, so he just got the damage with that Nair. Very, very close between these two. The spacing is so, like, inches away yeah. from each other from actually getting these hits. And, and the thing is, given these percent, that actually is just a matter of life and death. If, if either of them were misaligned, they could have died. Yeah. Monte has taken too much percent. Ido is really good at following up in these situations. That but was the needles so into smart. bouncing fish. The Let's bomb go. to force the air dodge, the right. needles to punish the air dodge into bouncing fish. That this was man, brilliant. Can I just say levels real quick? Levels? Oh, Ido gets the up B, but he gets it really up close. Trevante consistently DIing in, I think. Uh, it looks like he's DIing in rather than out. So if he DI in, it's going to be a lot harder for him to get that second hit. Oh, the sweet spot, get, on the, yeah. Right, it's going to end loop. up getting a, a, one of the sour spots. Ido, though, this is where he shines. Oh, Ooh. good up B timing to get through the back air. Yeah. Okay, this is where it gets a little shaky. No pun intended. Not, that's, it gets shaky in grand final. Yeah, <laughs> that's where the shaky comes through. Okay, went for a down tilt. Oh, nice. wow. Very yeah. smart there. Because Trevante was either going to go for a grab, spot dodge, or jump in with an aerial. Mm -hmm. And covered all three options. The only thing is if Trevante had moved back or stayed in shield. Yeah, but like Trevante right now has been laying on the pressure so much this whole game. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that that was a pretty great, uh, pretty confident read that Ido could make. Yeah. Oh, catches the up air dodge smash. with an up smash. And we, we hadn't seen an up smash. Ido getting third place for the first time since he returned to California. Trevante has consistently.